How's it going everybody? This is Aaron from GetGolfing.com, PXG's Performance Pro for 2024. And today I'm going to be giving you Justin Rose's secret sauce to shallow that golf club to eliminate your slice for good. So Justin Rose is one of the cleanest swings on the PGA Tour and he is known for being a phenomenal ball striker. When he does this drill, he is trying to get the arms to feel a little bit more behind him as he has a tendency to steepen the shaft, getting the club out in front of him, and then he needs to jump up and compensate with his body angles in order to square up the club face, which we do not want to happen. So he over-exaggerates this rehearsal to get him the proper feeling of that club head just dropping a bit more behind him with that shallowing motion. So in order to do this, what you need to do is set up to the golf ball, and number one, make sure you have the correct grip strength. If you're already slicing it, Turn your grip in maybe one more knuckle just for a little bit more strength. If you look at the top of Justin Rose's swing, he has a neutral wrist angle and a stronger club face. He definitely does not have a weak club face because if you had a weaker club face with a more extended wrist angle here, that could cause you to throw that club face in front of you. So step number two is making sure that your backswing position has a little bit of a stronger wrist angle at the top with a bigger body turn in order to aid with that. Now here's the million dollar move that Justin Rose is doing. He is feeling like the shadow of the club, that he is unfolding his trail arm, almost like a bicep curl, and allowing both of his thumbs to point a little bit more behind his trail shoulder in this direction. You can see how the butt end of the club is pointing in line or just a little bit above the golf ball. Instead of that steepening motion of where the trail arm goes internal in this direction, and the butt end of the club points down to the ground, the thumb's going up towards the sky. So what we're trying to do is get this shaft to feel like it is laying down a little bit more down here while this arm feels like it's unfolding, that bicep curl. So now that you understand the motion, here's how you're going to insert it into a one, two, three drill. Step number one is going to the top of your swing in your position. Step number two is, again, unfolding that trail arm letting the shaft shallow, moving it more horizontal in line with the ground. Once you get to this point here, you're going to feel the body turning and opening up towards the target. So you're gonna go one, two, three. You must be able to turn your body. If we shallow this shaft and we just drop our right shoulder, we're gonna be so stuck from the inside that we're just gonna hit these blocks out towards the right, or you're gonna flip your hand over and hit these massive hooks. So the matchup with getting this shaft shallow is a bit more body rotation to get that club working and firing through that elbow plane right in this direction here. That way you can rotate freely through the golf shot and not have, not have any manipulation of your golf swing. So there you have it everybody. That is the correct way how to fix your slice by using this one, two, three shallowing mechanism. If you like videos like this, I ask you to press the like and subscribe button and I will see you next time.